Hey, what's up everybody? It's Tim of Snipes. Welcome to house number 24 in our series. And this house is actually going to be another survival house because a lot of people have been asking for these houses. And so I've been trying to come up with some new designs to use because I do know a lot of people play survival. And some of the materials I use in other houses are hard to get on survival. So I'm going to try to start making a little bit more survival houses for you guys. So what we're going to need, we're going to need spruce wood planks, spruce wood slabs, spruce wood stairs, fences, stone, stone brick stairs, trap and trap doors. And we're going to use a little bit more for the inside as well, but the inside is not really that big. The entire house is only going to be 12 long by 11 wide. As you can see, I have it labeled out here with bedrock, which how big it's going to be all together. So what we're going to do, we're going to take out our spruce wood planks and we're going to make it that line. So we're going to connect each corner. So again, the house is going to be 12 long by 11 wide. And so you're just going to make an outline with the spruce wood planks. Also, you can use whatever wood you want because I know spruce wood planks aren't the hardest or aren't the easiest woods to get. So you can actually get uh, other materials like oak wood instead. I just like the look of spruce wood better. That's why I'm using it. Okay, so after you decide where you want the front of your house to be, you, you want to come to the left side of the house and find the center on this side. And you're going to get rid of the spruce wood plank that's there and replace it with the stone that we have. Then place one more piece of stone on each side of the one in the middle. And the ones on the sides are going to be three tall off the ground. And then the one in the middle is going to be around ten tall. So you can just stack it up and then you can always get rid of some later. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're actually going to start making the house now. So this is actually the outline and the house is going to kind of rest on this. So we want to come to the front of the house where you're going to put your front door. You want to find out where your front door is going to go. And then have it come diagonal. So we're going to make like a little outline again. So this one should be a 11 by 10 wide this time. And there we go. Alright, so we're going to make it to where the house is actually going to start uh, one block behind the outline we already made. So let's make our doorway. So that's going to be three tall. The doorway should be two blocks wide. Now what we're going to do is take our spruce wood planks and just make another outline around the layer we just added on the inside of the first outline we added and just connect them alright now what we're gonna do on all four corners we're gonna make windows so you're just gonna stack it up you also might notice that I'm not using uh, glass panes or anything for the windows and you'll see why here in a second because you can use glass if you want but since I'm trying to make this a little bit more of a, of a survival house I'm using something a little bit different that I haven't really done before so we'll see how it looks. How did the cow get up here? Pain in the butt. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is you see where the, we have the windows right here on the front? We're actually gonna place the fence post in here for the windows. Now what we're gonna do now is go to the back and we're gonna make the exact same windows that are in the front on the back. Also where the front door is, you can make that another window as well. Just because we're not gonna be making another door on the back side of the house, there's only gonna be one door into the house itself. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take out our spruce wood stairs, and then on top of this third block, we're gonna start placing the stairs and have it go all the way up top. And we might have an we have an odd number, which is what we want. So now we're just gonna do a little stair step going all the way up until it meets a point which should be right here all right let's do the same thing with the other side let's just make our stair step so we can see where everything's gonna end up being all right now let's place the stairs up here and then let's come all the way across and then connect them to the other side this house is actually extremely easy to make also really fun to make and also in my opinion I think it looks really well for a survival house this house is more of like a starter off house so when you first get into Minecraft and you're you just start off on a map or on a world you can make this easily with not too many resources okay what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take out our stone uh, if you don't have stone you can also use this regular cobblestone if you want all depends on what you feel like getting and we're going to place this layer of stone going all the way around the house on this first set of stairs that we place for the roof and have it go all the way around the house. So we're going to go all the way around the house with this. When you connect it to the chimney, you can just stop it there. Don't worry about it. 
Okay, so you're actually going to come back to the front of the house. You see how we have the two things of stone right here, even with the door? We actually want to get rid of the ones that are even with the door. We're going to place a stone, a stone brick stair on the ones closest. And now we're going to make it to where we have the stone up top. So it should have that little arch to it if we did it right. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take out our fences. And on each side of the door, we're going to put fence posts going up to the stone. Also, we're going to do this on every single corner that we have. So we're just going to continue doing this all the, way around, all the way around the house. When you get to the back, you can even place them in between the windows. Let's do the same thing with this corner as well. One more corner to go. Okay, so if we come to the inside, we can actually make one more window on the sides of the house right here. We can do the same thing with the side as well. You actually do not want to make a window in the middle block right here just because that's where a ladder is going to go to go to the upstairs floor. All right, now let's go finish the roof. So the roof, as you can see, it doesn't come to a perfect point, but that's where your slabs come in. You're going to place a slab on the top block. So now it makes it look like it's a little bit more at a point. So your chimney should actually be one block above the slab that we placed. So it should look just like this, and that's how tall your chimney should be. Okay, so we're actually almost done with the house now. So what we're going to do, we're going to go on the inside, and we're going to make the entire floor in here stone. You can also make it cobblestone if you want. Again, that's all up to you on what materials you guys want to use for your house and what materials you guys have. I almost, actually, I almost forgot about the trap doors. So, all right, after we fill this in, we're going to go back out to the outside, and we're going to place the trap doors above the windows. They kind of look like little... I can't think of the name, like shades, I guess you could call them. So if you wanted to close the windows, it looked like you could. The same thing with every side. How's that look? All right, so we're looking pretty good so far. So we could extend this out one farther, maybe even two, and then put some slabs here. And now we can make it like a little railing for getting into the house. Just a little bit more decoration to it. Okay, so let's go make our second floor. So the second floor, we're gonna use the spruce wood planks again. And we wanna make sure we have three blocks of headroom on the first floor. So you're gonna make sure you have three blocks of headroom. So one, two, three, so we're right. So it should be one block above the window. So you should have that extra block of spruce wood above the window, and then on that next block, you're gonna start making the roof there. So again, you might notice that we don't have too much room to work with up here. But up here is this where you're gonna sleep. So you really don't need too much room up here. And we're gonna make a ladder. So let's take the ladders out and place it on this middle block where I said we would place it earlier. And then we, if we go up, we can even get rid of these blocks right here just because we really don't need them. Whoop, I actually got rid of that by accident. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is go back upstairs and I'm going to put some torches down so you guys can see a little bit better. I'm not sure if it's hard for you guys to see or not. Alright, so we're going to make some more windows up here. So the windows are only going to be one wide. So, as you can see, we have like the space up here to where the stairs are like diagonal. We're actually going to make it to where they aren't. So when the windows, we, when we make the windows, they're not going to be floating in the air. So let's make our windows. So the windows are going to start one block away. Let's do the same thing with all four sides. Alright, let's go back to the outside so we can kind of see what we're doing a little bit better. Alright, so each window should actually be uh, three wide, so the window is actually going to be one block wide, if that makes sense. So we're going to do it just like this. That's what it should look like. Do the same thing with this side as well. Oh, I actually got rid of a stair I didn't need to by accident and place one here, one there. And now we're gonna place slabs going up above the blocks we just placed. And then again for the windows, we're gonna place the fences in here to act as the windows. And then we're gonna add another trap door above the windows to look like blinds. And let's do the same thing with this side as well. 
we'll put a fence in here for the window and then a trap door again for looks all right so how's this looking so far in my opinion this is actually a pretty nice starter house all right so let's go on the inside and figure out what we could do in here so we have plenty of room over here you could make a chimney so if you did want to make the chimney we could just get rid of the whoop, got rid of the wrong block you just get rid of some of this you could put like some stone right here I'll leave the wood up here just because you don't want it showing on the outside then we could have like stone on the inside like this uh, I wouldn't suggest using a chimney uh, this looks good for aesthetics on the outside but on the inside it would probably catch your house on fire so I would be careful about that if you do make one alright so let's see let's take out our spruce wood planks and we're gonna place a spruce wood planks going up to the up to the ceiling on each side of the ladder we're gonna need some furnaces some cauldrons a crafting table some chests so we're gonna place a chest on each side of the ladder so a double chest on each side we can place the little kitchen area right over here so we can place the furnaces here we can have the cauldrons on each side and then maybe like a little crafting table on this side all depends on how you guys set up things for your survival uh, we could also I'm trying to think on what we could do we could put a bed upstairs so we can actually sleep so let's go to sleep real quick nighty night time okay so let's go back downstairs I'm gonna just make this right here so we can kind of see where so you want to forget which side the go down the ladder okay so let's add some doors to the front door and there's not really too much you really need to have for survival I mean you could make like a little enchanting area in here if you wanted we could make a farm area outside so for the farm area we would just take out some if I can find it we would need water of course we would need seeds like for wheat we would need a hoe all right let's go outside and we can actually make it to where the water is underneath the pillars out here so if we just get rid of all the grass right here so we can kind of see what we're doing do 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 okay so what we're gonna do is just get rid of the stuff and the dirt underneath the house so then you can place the water here and then when you actually make your plants the water doesn't show and so it looks a little bit better it's like wow how'd you grow that stuff and then it's like boom yeah I did that so check it out like you're basically gonna look like a show-off all right let's place water down here now it shouldn't take too long again some of the stuff that I'm adding at the end is is just for a little bit more aesthetics so if you want to keep expanding the house um, even longer and longer this is just stuff you could do all right now we're gonna place the uh, grass back to cover up the water Oop, keep misplacing a couple blocks there we go so we go back all the way around the house replacing it with dirt again oh the pigs following me I'm being hunted okay now we can till the land I believe it's what it's what it's called watch out sheep or why do I call it a sheep pig watch out pig so let's till all the land and now we can place our seeds down so now we're gonna have wheat going all the way around the house you can also use like this stuff for like sugarcane and why is every animal following me all right there we go now we have our seeds that place and then after a while it would all grow which will all grow in here in a second just because I'm gonna bone meal it just because I'm making this house in creative but I assure you that this house can be made in survival and okay so the house is basically done alright so hopefully you guys like the house again this should be a nice little simple starter house for you guys so hopefully you guys like it so please rate and subscribe guys stay tuned in Wednesday for another house video again thanks for watching guys please rate and subscribe